United States Warthog just became more powerful and dangerous. This unstoppable fighter jet is definitely one of a kind, and even rivals of the United States are scared of this technological marvel. Renowned for its close support ground attack capabilities, this beast of an aircraft strikes fear into enemy ranks with its versatility and adaptability. However, as dangerous as the Warthog is said to be, it just got a series of upgrades that has made it the ultimate weapon. Nothing can stand against it. What are the recent upgrades on the Warthog? How did the US rival react to this major development? Join us as we explore the mind-blowing features of the newly improved A-10 Warthog, which has made the US Air Force the most powerful. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, also referred to as the A-10 Warthog for its rugged appearance, is the go-to aircraft for the US Air Force when it comes to providing close air support at low altitudes and being able to withstand threats. It is a single-seat, twin turbofan, straight-wing, subsonic marvel, which stands as a stalwart in the skies and was developed specifically for the United States Air Force. Since it was developed in 1977, this aircraft, named after the legendary Republic P-47 Thunderbolt, has earned its nickname as the Warthog, or simply the Hog. The P-47 Thunderbolt was loved by pilots and also helped cast fear in the hearts of the enemies because of its deadly combination of high firepower and bomb-carrying capabilities. This aircraft, which was nicknamed the Jug, can destroy over 7,000 enemy aircraft during the war. That was how formidable it was, unfortunately. It had to be retired and replaced by an even scary fighter. And as guessed, the game indeed got better. The Warthog boasts a rich legacy as an extremely successful high-altitude fighter and the foremost American fighter bomber in ground attack missions. This technological marvel is armed with a formidable arsenal with its primary armament consisting of eight 50 caliber machine guns that ensures a devastating firepower against its targets. Additionally, its versatility also extends to carrying five inch rockets or a bomb load of up to 2,500, which enables it to deliver precise and powerful strikes against enemy positions. Remarkably, even when fully loaded, the A-10 still finds AE to maintain its prowess. Despite weighing up to eight tons, this ability has solidified its status as one of the heaviest fighters in its class. Specially designed for close air support, the Warthog was created in such a way that it provides an invaluable and incomparable assistance to ground troops by engaging armored vehicles, tanks, and other enemy ground forces. Remarkably, it remains the sole production-built aircraft dedicated solely to close air support within the United States Air Force fleet. Additionally, it serves a very important secondary mission, which is to guide and coordinate attacks on ground targets, assuming the role of a forward air controller airborne, with designated OMRO-10 variants operating primarily in this capacity. Its most notable feature in this air fighter is the fearsome GAU-8 Avenger 30mm Gatling gun mounted on the nose, which has earned it a reputation as a reliable workhorse for the U.S. Army over many years. The General Electric GAW-8A Avenger is a big gun with seven barrels that spin around quickly. This gun is made to destroy lots of different things on the ground, and it shoots very strong bullets really fast. Besides being on the A-10, the gun is also used on ships to protect them from short-range dangers like fast-moving missiles, aircrafts, and quick boats. To make it work, it makes use of twin hydraulic motors powered by two separate hydraulic systems. The system can hold up to 1,174 rounds, but usually they load about 1,150 rounds. When it shoots armor-piercing incendiary rounds, the bullets travel at about 1,013 meters per second which is almost the same as the lighter M61 Vulcan's bullets. The standard mix of bullets for attacking armored targets is mostly armor-piercing incendiary rounds mixed with some high-explosive incendiary rounds. The GAU-8 gun can shoot really fast, up to 3,900 rounds per minute, but they usually only shoot in short bursts to avoid overheating and save ammo. Each barrel of the gun has its own breech and bolt and the firing is powered by the rotation of the barrels. The bullets are fed into the gun without any links, which makes it lighter and less likely to jam. The gun is super accurate too, hitting within a small circle at its target range. It is no wonder it being on the A-10 makes the fighter jet more lethal. However, there was a recoil issue 
and to deal with the strong recoil, the gun is mounted off-center on the aircraft and has special adapters to absorb the kickback. When the gun fires, it can cause the engines to stop because of the smoke it produces. But they've added igniters to keep the engines running. Despite the powerful recoil, firing the gun only slows down the aircraft a little bit. Now back to the special features of the Warthog. It has a unique kind of wing that's really wide and flat, with a wide front part. This wing design lets the aircraft move around easily at low speeds and altitudes. It's also good for taking off and landing on short runways, which means it can operate from small airfields close to where the fighting is happening. The A-10 can stay in the air for a long time and fly even when the weather isn't great, like when it's cloudy or foggy. It usually flies at a slower speed than other aircrafts, which makes it better at attacking ground targets that aren't moving fast. The front part of the wing is made of a strong but light material that is shaped like a honeycomb, which helps keep the aircraft light but sturdy. If parts of the wing get damaged in combat, they can be replaced quickly and easily, even with makeshift materials if needed. The parts of the wing that help it turn are located at the very ends, which helps the aircraft roll smoothly. These parts are bigger than usual and are split into two, which helps the aircraft slow down when needed. This aircraft is designed to be refueled, loaded with weapons again, and fixed up with only a few tools. Its design is simple, so it's easy to maintain, even at bases with limited resources. One cool thing about it is that a lot of its parts can be switched between the left and right sides of the aircraft, like the engines, wheels, and fins on the back. It has really tough landing gear and big, strong wings, so it can take off and land on short, rough runways, even if it's carrying a lot of heavy bombs. The front wheels of the landing gear are a bit to the right side of the aircraft to make room for the big gun in the middle. When it's driving on the ground, it turns better to the right than to the left because of how the front wheels are set up. If something goes wrong and the aircraft needs to land without its wheels down, it's designed to do that safely without causing too much damage. One intriguing fact is that the Warthog is really tough and can handle getting hit by big bullets and explosives up to 23 millimeters in size. It is no wonder why this particular air fighter is the United States Air Force's favorite. It also has several backup systems in case something goes wrong with its main controls, like double redundant hydraulic systems and a manual backup in case the hydraulics stop working. Even if it loses hydraulic power, the pilot can still fly it back to safety using a manual control system, although it's harder to control than usual. It's built to keep flying even if it's damaged, like if it loses an engine or part of its tail, elevator, or wing. Since it flies close to where the fighting is, it's a big target for enemy missiles and aircrafts, so it carries flares and chaff to confuse them and stay safe. It also has really strong armor, which weighs about 1,200 pounds, protecting the cockpit and some of the flight control systems. This armor is like a bathtub surrounding the cockpit and is made of thick titanium plates. It can withstand hits from big bullets and shell fragments. Inside the cockpit, there is a shield that is made of layers of nylon to protect the pilot from any fragments that might come through. Even the front window and canopy are tough enough to resist small arms fire. During the Iraq War in 2003, an A-10 flown by Captain Kim Campbell was hit by a lot of flak, damaging one engine and the hydraulic system. But she managed to fly it safely back to base. Unlike other aircrafts, the A-10 is designed to operate from bases with rough runways where there's a risk of objects getting sucked into the engines and destroying them. To enable its efficiency, the engines are placed in a special way, and this helps to reduce this risk and allow them to keep running while the aircraft is being serviced. The wings are also lowered to the ground, which makes it easier for ground crews to work on them. The fuel tanks are placed in a way that makes it harder for projectiles to reach them, and they have self-sealing features to prevent fuel leaks if they're damaged. The engines are protected from the rest of the aircraft by special walls and equipment to put out fires. If the main fuel tanks are damaged, there are backup tanks that can keep the aircraft flying for a while. As mentioned earlier, the A-10's main weapon is a really powerful cannon called the GAU-8-A Avenger. That's one of the strongest cannons ever used on an aircraft. Originally, the pilot could choose to shoot either 2,100 or 4,200 per minute bullets per minute. But later, they set it to always shoot 3,900 bullets per minute. It can also carry other weapons besides the cannon. 
One of them is the AGM-65 Maverick missile, which can hit targets from far away using special cameras to see where it's going. This is useful because it keeps the Warthogs safe from enemy weapons. During the Desert Storm War, when they didn't have night vision cameras, they used the Maverick missile's camera to see at night, which came in really handy and helped to understand their environment. The Warthog can also carry cluster bombs, rocket pods, and other guided bombs and missiles. For defense, the Warthog usually has an ECM pod under one wing and two Sidewinder missiles under the other wing. The A-10's body was made to fit the big cannon it carries. The cannon is placed a little to the left side of the aircraft, but when it fires, the barrel lines up with the middle of the aircraft. The cannon can hold up to 1,350 bullets, but usually it carries around 1,174. To protect the bullets from enemy fire, there are special armor plates that are placed around the cannon that explode if they're hit. Over the years, the Warthog has undergone numerous upgrades with the aim to enhance its capacity. In 1976, this technological marvel was equipped with a Pave Penny laser receiver pod, but it was later replaced by more advanced targeting pods. Subsequent enhancements included an inertial navigation system, computerized weapon aiming, autopilot, ground collision warning system, and GPS navigation systems. The entire fleet received precision engagement upgrades in 2005, incorporating an improved fire control system and electronic countermeasures, among other enhancements. Presently, the A-10C is receiving a suite of enhancements aimed at modernizing its capabilities. These upgrades include improved avionics, weapon systems, and survivability features. The focus is on ensuring that the IT can operate effectively in the increasingly sophisticated electronic and cyber warfare environments expected in future battles. A key component of the A-10C's upgrade is the integration of new weapon systems. This includes the addition of advanced precision-guided munitions and updated targeting pods, which will enhance the aircraft's ability to engage moving targets with greater accuracy. The upgrades will also allow the air fighter to better support ground forces in complex, contested environments. Its avionics and communication systems are being overhauled to improve interoperability with other United States and allied forces. This includes the implementation of modern data links and communication networks, enabling the Warthog to share real-time battlefield information with ground troops and other assets in the theater of operations. Unfortunately, the plan to retire the A-10 had caused some problems with supporting and improving the aircraft. Testing and upgrades for the entire fleet had been stopped at different Air Force bases. But as the need for the Warthog increased during Operation Inherent Resolve, which was at its busiest in the summer of 2016, the Air Force started to change its approach. They began to focus again on making important upgrades to the A-10 to improve its performance and missions. However, this formidable aircraft is making a strong comeback. And there's a new plan called the Common Fleet Initiative to keep it flying and effective until at least 2035. One big focus of the upgrades is to make sure the A-10 can stay safe even in dangerous situations. This means pilots will have access to weapons that have the ability to hit targets that are far away, so they do not have to get too close to the danger before getting rid of it. They also use updated strategies to avoid threats and also be able to attack some targets from a distance with precise weapons. After dealing with these threats, they can then move on to their usual missions without a hitch. Major Kading also emphasized on the fact that being able to stay safe in battle is not just about having the best equipment and software. It is also about using the most effective and lethal strategies. HW also stated that what makes their organization unique is that they focus on all of these critical aspects. Right now, the 422 Squadron is working on different tactics to improve how the Warthog performs in combat. One of these is about flying at night at lower altitudes using better night vision technology. They're also looking into new ways to rescue people in dangerous situations and how to attack enemy ships using special rockets. They are also trying to make the air fighter get better at flying from places with limited support. All of these changes will make it more ready and effective in missions. The AGR-20 APKW's two rocket is a smart version of the old 2.75 inch rocket which the A-10 started using in 2013. Suite 9, which was introduced in 2019, made it possible for JTACs to share their position digitally with the A-10's onboard computer. 
This helps prevent accidentally targeting friendly forces. It also allowed it to attack multiple targets at once with precision-guided weapons. Now the pilot can drop six weapons with just one button press, which used to require a lot of work. The A-10 can now use different types of bombs, like the GBU-38 or GBU-31 JDAMs, and the aircraft will tell the pilot if they can hit their targets on one pass. Also, this Sweet 9 also included improvements to the pilot's helmet called Hobbit or Hybrid Optical-Based Inertial Tracker. This new helmet tracks the pilot's head movements more accurately using special dots on the canopy. Upgrading A-10Cs, which started in 2005, was a big improvement for the Warthog. It added precision weapons, some digital screens in the cockpit, and a laser pointer. Sweet 10, which will be ready in spring 2021, is the next step in making the A-10 more modern. Sweet 10 will let the pilot attack multiple targets with different weapons in one go. It will also fully integrate the AGR-30 APK AAS rocket, which lets the A-10 hit targets from far away with better accuracy. Adding the GBU-30 V3 JDAM bombs will give it more ways to use new bomb fuses, and the pilot will get better feedback on bomb accuracy. Pilots will also be able to share info about threats with other A-10s using a data link, which will help keep them safe. Sweet 11 testing will start after Sweet 10 is ready. The 40th Flight Test Squadron in Florida is testing it now. Sweet 11 will focus on adding new equipment like a better screen in the cockpit, integrating the GBU-39 small diameter bomb, improving audio, making the GPS harder to jam, and upgrading the radio. These changes will make the A-10 more modern and better at using weapons. The process of upgrading the A-10 with new wings started in 2007 and finished in 2019. The new wings should last longer unlike the previous one without needing repairs and will also keep the Warthog flying until at least 2030. There's also a plan to get more new wings for other Warthogs. While there's no plan to put new engines in them right now, the upgrades it's getting will keep it a better option for the Air Force for a long time. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.